In a previous video, I mentioned that the more often we activate a given part of our brain through use, the more competent it becomes. This should not be a surprise. Physical trainers, sports coaches, and athletes have always known that when we exercise a specific muscle group, those muscles soon become thicker. Incidentally, repetition is also how you develop what is known as muscle memory, which is a key component of achieving or improving competence. A great example of this was studies performed just a few years ago at the University of Wisconsin-Madison Medical School. It was discovered that lifelong Buddhist meditators had actually improved parts of their brain that are involved with attention and focus. This included their reticular activating system, which is also involved in breathing and focus, and the right orbital frontal cortex, which is just above our right eye. The latter area is involved with inhibition, suggestion, and imagination. They also improve their hippocampus, which is in the limbic region and plays a major role in short-term memory. Again, by developing these parts of the brain through repeated use, they become much more competent as meditators. Incidentally, these same brain areas play a major role during the hypnotic process. The use of suggestion and imagination to create behavioral and even physical changes has long been emphasized by trained and qualified clinical hypnotherapists as well as others who use hypnosis as an adjunct to their field. They have used traditional direct and permissive techniques as ways to create desired changes. Many of these methods are either a half a century or many centuries old. At the International Hypnosis Research Institute, we emphasize the mastery of these older techniques as a prerequisite. Then we add to them newer techniques which have been implied by modern science. The result is an enhanced human communication program called Advanced Neuronoetic Hypnosis. Despite the rich history, traditional hypnosis and related fields like Freudian psychoanalysis, theories and practices are basically over a half century old. Even popular ideas such as cognitive behavioral therapy are at best several decades old. ANH is based upon the latest thinking and research found in psychology, medicine, neurology, and physics. The underlying basis of ANH thus includes recent research, findings, and theory involved in neurology, theoretical physics, mind body integration, and even artificial intelligence. When combined, the conceptual framework is called the neurology of suggestion. It carefully considers the impact of suggestion and imagination from a neurological standpoint. Practitioners who wish to learn these concepts are invited to enroll in the ANH certification program, which is comprised of 12 separate distance learning courses and includes over 75 skills. Please note that these skills are not meant to replace your current approach, such as CBT. Rather, these skills are intended to make you more effective regardless of your preferred methods. I encourage you to enroll in our program today by visiting www.advanced-neuro-noetic-hypnosis.org or you may enroll in individual courses by visiting courses.hypnosisresearchinstitute.org. Of course, you are invited to support the Institute as a member, as well as other benefits. Our small membership fee includes one free course, which may be applied to your ANH certification. Also, members receive substantial discounts on individual courses and the certification program. For more information, visit www.hypnosisresearchinstitute.org.